What's good, people? Mary Levin TV here. <laughs> Let's just say it for what it is. Manipulating. Two people trying to manipulate people out there on the internet to spin a narrative, to spin it in their own favour, to make themselves seem more important or more bad than what they actually are. So let's get straight into it. Big Bad Spray and Pound Sterling. Big Bad Spray speaking on how he met Ipo. First of all, RIP Ipo. He's not here to defend himself, so I guess Big Bad Spray wouldn't have said it to his face. Big Bad Spray said he met Ipo in jail. Ipo was asking about where's Al Capone, who's Al Capone, what wing is Al Capone on, I want to see him. They set a lot of time to meet each other, however, the beef didn't go down. <laughs> you hear that? The beef didn't go down. It didn't happen. Someone backed out. Who backed out? Ipo basically backed out. Ain't it? They had a narrative. Ipo backed out. Now, him saying Ipo backed out, Ipo's not here to defend himself. So we're going to look at it like Big Bad Spizzle, a.k.a. Al Capone, is trying to sex up his CV to make his CV seem better than what it was. Then he said the next time he see Ipo <laughs> was when Ipo put his hand through the bars and Big Bad Spizzle, Al Capone, twisted up his hand. Hey, yeah, Bruce Lee! Bruce Lee twisted up Ipo's hand. Ipo starts shouting in front of the govs. Now, there, here we are. Any man that's ever been jailed knows. If you've ever been to jail, you don't shout in front of no gov unless you really don't want it. Any man knows you shout in front of a gov, you're really giving up information, really snitching. Basically, letting a gov know, gov, I've got a problem with this guy. I don't want to be here. I'm a fraggle. Put me on a different wing or put me down the block or ship me out. Now, I don't believe Ipo done any one of them because the fact is he's not here to defend himself. From what I know from Ipo, not from the internet, personally, I've never seen this guy back down from nothing. Straight up. I've seen man say to him, leave it and allow it, and he's listened to the person that's with him. However, I've never seen Ipo act like no sissy, no fraggle whatsoever. So I'm going to say, Big Bad Spray, you're making that up for clicks and bait. Like you said, you didn't say it to a man's face. <laughs> so let's get it straight out there. Now, as for Big Pound Sterling, Big Pound Sterling, <laughs> Pound Sterling say now we met Sparks. R.I.P. to Sparks. Pound Sterling trying to push a narrative that basically he was better than Sparks because that's what I get from it. He said he was in a rave with his bedroom who was basically a brown noser and Sparks and another man that he knew came in the rave. Sparks was looking him up, up and down the other guy he pound sterling didn't really take to the other guy because of one two issues back in the day <laughs> hear that right there so sparks came over to ask pound sterling what's the situation what's he on pound sterling lifted up his top to show his strap hear that right there lifted up his top to show his strap because he was wearing a big chain and he knew a sparks was a robber <laughs> hear that right there you lift up your top to show a man your strap you didn't pull it out and tell a man back off you picked up, you lift up your top to show a man you're strapped up. Who does that? What film is he watching? What Hollywood film did Pound Sterling see to come out for social media and try and spin a narrative like he lifted up his top and I'm at news place. This new type of social media bullshitting makes me sick, but it makes me laugh also because I see how much enough of these men wanted to walk in actual man shoes. I see it. So now, uh oh, wait there. <laughs> Let me not forget. Pound Sterling also goes on to say he's not going to mention no names, but the first name he calls out was Sparks. Hear that right there. What about the two guys that was with him? Why didn't you call their name so they can verify, clarify, certify what you're saying but you ain't gonna call no names because i might be like this guy's chatting rubbish let's just say it for what it is pound sterling you was never a threat so that's why you're never considered a threat so let's say it for what it is man have passed away let's respect the man them that's passed away we don't do what americans do in the uk we don't beg what americans do let the americans dig up the dead and talk shit about the dead you man out here love to join americans however you're english you speak english you act english oh wait open hold up a second big man spray he's dominican but he acts like a jamaican you hear the word i use act because he said it himself the moral of the story for you youths out there is very simple tell your story before someone else tells so, it remain relevant tv you know like and subscribe peace